As the world grapples with the escalating impacts of climate change, Africa stands at the forefront of the battle, confronting challenges that threaten not only its environment but also the very fabric of its societies and economies. The recent statement by Ephraim Wepyashitama, chair of the African Group of Negotiators on Climate Change, AGN, outlines six critical priorities for the continent at the 28th Conference of Parties. These priorities underscore the urgent need for global cooperation and financial support to address the profound and disproportionate effects of climate change on Africa. We will dive into this in a second. Take a moment to like the video and hit the subscribe button below. Kindly share with friends so they know what is happening in Africa. The six key priorities guiding the AGN's fight for a more equitable and sustainable future are 1. Climate finance Developed nations must finally deliver on their promise of $100 billion annually and significantly increase funding to support adaptation, mitigation, and loss and damage. 2. Global stock take. A comprehensive assessment of global progress towards the Paris Agreement's goals is crucial to ensure accountability and accelerate action. 3. Strengthening adaptation actions. Africa urgently needs resources and support to build resilience against climate change's devastating impacts. 4. Operationalization of the Loss and Damage Fund. This fund must be established and adequately resourced to compensate developing countries for the irreversible losses and damages they are already suffering. 5. Just Energy Transition. Africa needs a pathway to clean energy that ensures energy access for all while protecting its development needs and creating decent jobs. 6. Special Needs and Circumstances Status. Recognizing Africa's unique vulnerabilities is essential for ensuring fair and effective climate action. These priorities, which crystallized into the African Common Position on Climate Change at the 28th Conference of Parties, were fine-tuned and endorsed after a flurry of continent-wide consultative meetings over the past 10 months, including the African Ministerial Conference on Environment, UMSAN, Conference on Climate Change and Development in Africa and the Africa Climate Summit in Nairobi, Kenya. At the African Climate Summit, African leaders expressed their frustrations with the industrialized country's inability to honor their commitments on providing adequate climate finance. African leaders are now exploring innovative financing mechanisms. Debt for nature and debt for climate swaps, along with participation in well-functioning carbon markets, could bridge the financial gap and expedite the implementation of crucial initiatives. Africa has a clear vision at the 28th Conference of Parties and Demands for Justice, Equity, and Urgent Action. The question that resonates is whether the international community is ready to listen, collaborate, and commit to a future where the impacts of climate change are addressed comprehensively and with the urgency they demand. Will the world rise to the occasion and act in solidarity, recognizing that the consequences of inaction are not confined to one region but affect the destiny of our shared planet? The answers to these questions will shape not only Africa's future but the future of humanity in the face of a changing climate. Kindly let us know your thought in the comments section below.